The 9th October, 1523, a baby boy who was given the name, Gabriel Fulopio, was born. At that time, no one knew that he was destined to achieve wonders in preventing sexually transmitted diseases. Now, let's take a time machine for a leap of 37 years. Fallopio is now one of the most profound anatomists in Italy, and now he invents something called the condom. Condom. Con 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 Syphilis. Gonorrhea. AIDS. 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 Almost any STD prevented by a sheet of linen. But there were problems. Linen wasn't the ideal material for the job. It was bulky, nearly uncomfortable to wear, and it was unattachable to one's genitals. For that it had a strap to be tied behind one's back. For these reasons, a sheep's intestine came to play. Unlike its counterpart, it was less bulky and was attachable. Mostly. But, at that time, it was too costly for ordinary men to buy it. But, it was kept the way it was, until 20th century. Then something happened. The man you're seeing, is one of the masterminds behind the latex condoms. His name is, Julius Fromm. His company did what seemed impossible a few years ago. Prices decrease. Comfort increase. And sales were crossing the sky. Modern couples happy. People seemed to like it for many reasons. In a packet that appeared to carry toffees, one could carry the secret of pleasure without risk. It was a stretchable piece of latex, smaller than the circumference of a bottle, making it highly portable. But, there were many things that came after, to take its title. Failing, nonetheless. 